of God, there are some decisions you should be taking first before you ever would trust anyone. There are some things you should carefully look into before you let your trust out to anyone on the face of the earth. The word of the Lord have established it in Micah chapter 7 verse 5. He said, trust ye not in a friend, dear child of God. I want you to know that there are some friends who do not want your progress in life. There are some friends who do not want you to be greater than them. There are some friends whose heart is bitter when they see that that thing that you've said you would do, you're already making success in it. He said, trust not in friends. Trust not in such kind of friends. Such friends that when you are telling your ideas to, they become bitter. Such friends that when you tell of the wonderful things that God is doing in your life, their countenances changes. Dear child of God, be careful of such friends. And the word of God have advised you. He says, put ye not confidence in such a people. Because if you trust them to guide you, they will guide you to ruin. If you trust them to lead you, if you trust them for instructions, if you trust them for advices, dear child of God, they would give you such advice, such counsel that will cause your life to be destroyed. They will give you such counsel that would make you not to be greater than them. Dear child of God, it's not every friend that are supposed to be your friends. It's not everyone that comes around you that you should throw your arms around and say, this is my friend. Dear child of God, I want you to come to that point of being very conscious. I want you to come to that point of looking out for the motives of the people who have come around you and have said they are your friends. Because from the things you have said to them, you'll be certain if this is your friend or not. So the word of God has said, keep the doors of thy mouth from her the light in thy bosom from that one who stays with you but you have seen it you have been able to discern that this person doesn't want good for your life and for your destiny they may act all friendly when they are around you but they are plotting evil in your behind there are sometimes you have let some things out to them and before you knew it you heard it from another source dear child of god you need to be careful of such a friend You knew that you have not mentioned this to anyone on the face of the earth. But that single information that you let out, it had gone round. Such friends would destroy you before you know it. Such friends will leak everything out that you have told them. They would expose even the things you have told them in confidence, their child of God. They would use it to blackmail you. They would use it to destroy your image. He says, trust ye not. Some of these people, the word of God says that they are not to be trusted. Such people, the word of God says that you should not have confidence in them in any way because they are evil workers. They are people who want to see that everything about you do not make progress. And they come around us from here and there. We saw such a person in the life of Jesus to be Judas. He looked out for that opportune time. He looked out for that moment when he would betray his friendship and he didn't do it in the secret. He did it in the open. Dear child of God, when he kissed him in the open, that was him betraying their friendship. There are some people who will go to the open and speak some things about you that will cause your heart to be bitter. It will shock you that they said it. It will shock you that they acted that way. That is because they were not your friends from the onset so he said to you trust ye not in such a friend he says put no confidence in such people this was why the word of god in proverbs have told us to choose our friends wisely you should come to that point of looking at the things this friend will do to your life and do against your life you should be able to weigh it properly and be sure that you can deal with it. Many people that were destroyed before time were destroyed by their own friends, their child of God. So he said evil communication, it corrupts good manner. 
you knew that the moment you began to hang out with this person, that was when your character began to change. Dear child of God, you need to avoid such a friend because the more you keep trusting them for some things, the more you will become the person that you never wanted to be. He says, put you not confidence in such a friend, such a friend that would advise you to do wrong and do not even feel anything bad about it. Such a friend who will give you wrong counsel. Such a friend who will be delighted and hailing you when you are sinning. He said you should be careful of such friends. Such people who want to destroy your business. He said you should be careful around such friends. And he said you should keep your mouth. Dear child of God, watch what you say. Dear child of God, watch the information that you let out. Dear child of God, watch the things that you have told your friends at some times that you knew were used against you. You shouldn't repeat such a mistake. You shouldn't allow that to ever happen again. And you should know some things you should let out until they are trusted. Until you can say this person is divinely given to me by God. Dear child of God, keep your ideas to yourself. Keep your information to yourself until you are certain in your spirit, until you are certain in your heart, until you are certain in your soul that this friend will do you good, until you are certain in your heart that you can be of internal benefit together. Dear child of God, you should be careful of such people because their plans will be to destroy you, because their plans will be to see that your name is taken off the radar. Their plans will be to see that you are not making the progress that you want to make. So when you look out for those people around you who do not care if you are making progress more than them, but they are still supporting you, they are still loving you, they are still giving you the very best, then those are such a friend that you should keep around you. When you see that the advice they are giving to you are advices which do not matter if you make it first before them. If you know that these advices they are giving you are advices which do not matter if you become successful before them. Dear child of God, and those are friends that you should cherish. Those friends that will sacrifice their very best to see that you are comfortable. Even when they cannot even guarantee that they may be as comfortable as you will be. Dear child of God, these are the kind of friends that you should keep around you. These are the kind of friends that you should have company with. Such a friend was found in Nathaniel. Such a friend was found in Jonathan. Such a friend was found in Peter. Such a friend was found in John the Beloved. Such a friend was found in Ruth. Such a friend can be found in Esther. There are people around you that you should hold dearly. There are people around you that you should call your true companion. There are people around you that you should be confident about not everyone david made it at the end of the day david was successful david did not die because of his friend because of jonathan david's life was preserved he actually did unveil all the evils that were plotted against his life that is who a true friend is he knew that his own throne was at stake but rather he will see to it that David survived and ruled upon that throne. That is who a true friend is. Dear child of God, I want you to be conscious of this thing. That there are some people who are there to see that you succeed and they will give their very best. And there are some people who everything that they do is to see that you are brought down. You should be careful of such people and be far away from them. Do not put a little confidence in them because they will betray it, because they will betray their trust, because they will cause you to be sorrowful, because they will cause you to read in pain, because they will cause you to cry every day, they will cause you to regret all the things you have ever said, all the things you have ever done, and all the things you have ever expressed to them. Dear child of God, be careful, be watchful, be discerning, and know those people that you should come in close contact with. And you know those people that you should keep at arm's length. You know those people that you should keep as acquaintances. You know those people that you should stay a little distance from them. 
because you know the damage that they may cause to your life and to your family. Some friends have taken the spouse of their friends and this is what you should know. You should be careful about such people because they are there to destroy your home and take everything that you have worked for. Be careful about these people. Do not put your confidence in them and God will guide you aright in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and Shalom.